Hi, I'm happy to make a video to share the project that I've been working on a bit for the past couple weeks in this month. I'm excited to become part of an exhibition in Delray Beach at the Delray Beach Arts Garage. If people are from Florida, they're more than welcome to show up to the event and I'm gonna have all the details in the description below. But just most important about the project that I'm creating or I have created, um, this is one of the pieces that I finished yesterday. Um, I'm just so excited when I'm when I'm wrapped up with an idea, I have this creative energy that I possess to be able to make just so many different pieces of artwork because it's part of my passion. But the reason why I create things is because of something that inspires me that I truly feel needs to be talked about and communicated and shared. So what, I'm a commu what I am communicating and expressing in this video is sharing about the story of the muñeca or Lele, la muñeca Maria in Mexico. This doll has been created long ago by indigenous groups in Mexico and they're commonly found in Querétaro today, but the indigenous group that began to make these dolls, well, where they originated from, they're called the Otome. And the Otome is just like the biggest indigenous group still in existence today in Mexico. There are other indigenous names and some of them I'll have in the description below. So if people are interested in learning more, they, you can read all the, or find all the literature that I'm gonna be able to attach to this video and also to the project if people are going to see me at the gallery and I'll have like the little writing against the wall, making sure that people know more about the project. But in relations to what this doll means to me is I'm Mexican. I was born in Mexico in 1998. However, I'm not an indigenous Mexican. I did grow up in Mexico, but an indigenous Mexican would probably grow up in the parts of what of Querétaro, uh, Guanajuato, that's what I wanted to say, different areas where it's out of the city and it's a different cosmopolitan city, more agricultural. I grew up in Mexico City and I have heritage that is not indigenous to Mexico, but I am Mexican. The reason why I wanted to create this project and communicate about it to people is because while I didn't grow up playing with these dolls, the dolls and this imagery was around me. A lot of places where I would go as a child, they would have these at little tiendas or they would have them in markets, some kind of imagery around like marketing or i would see them on clothes designs they were they're very prevalent especially when it's like festivals that we're celebrating in mexico the day of the dead and at the end this is i can say that this is an icon for people who are mexican and they might know the background history of this doll but it's important to at least understand and learn a little bit more about your roots and the people that are around you that have more significance to these items than you know you could at least consider. To not ramble on, I want to say one big important factor with this project too, and I'm not gonna go in depth into it, but the background 
is stylistically it represents Barbie why because while I grew up in Mexico I still played with Barbies I would have some Mexican things like a doll I would have toys that were probably handmade but then I would have other toys that were plastic or made by companies like Mattel and because that was accessible to me I was able to have my mom or my dad buy some of these items for me to play with and that made and that makes me realize well if I wouldn't have had access to that maybe I would have just been able to play with these dolls or I would only have a certain amount of things to have at the house so why would I want to connect these two themes together one is to expose the differences and contrasts between like growing up in the US or growing up in a city where I have access to playing with Barbies and my perspective grew with the design of Mattel and the design of something that inspired me to think a certain way. What I'm saying is maybe pink and like these colors and these patterns made me start to understand a perception of femininity a perception of oh well i'm a girl i should like pink i should like these colors and it was part of my childhood where maybe instead of buying a bike that resembled a certain pattern i would want to buy a bike that resembled like a barbie pattern and that was a big influence for me in my childhood in contrast to maybe I could have been influenced by the indigenous culture and would have gotten something different but the Barbie and the Mattel and like the American consumeristic culture impacted me to end up wanting to buy things that are like plastic and not handmade so if I'm making sense I ended up comparing these two in a physical art piece and this is just one of the art pieces that I have made. Um, I have three right now and it was made from recycled material from <laughs> technically it's not recycled because I did purchase the Barbie um, book that I got from Target and well like a Barbie magazine that was published around this hype of the new Barbie movie so I ended up getting it but instead of like making a certain use of it and just leaving it on my table or on my bathroom sink or something I took out the pieces that have just patterns that I could identify and colors that I can identify aesthetically pleasing to where it just makes it artistically um, I would say it makes it artistically pleasing to the eye it, there, there's really not much explanation to how I could explain cutting out certain pieces and gluing them besides it was by choice by looking at different patterns and liking some pieces other than others but thanks to the designers and people who ended up working so hard on the oh my goodness I'm drawing blank the articles within the magazine you know because of them, I was able to create this. So that also feeds into the subject matter of being able to take someone's work and transmitting it into your own. There are pros and there's cons to that. There's a big con of using someone and exploiting what they have already made 
and we don't really think about it in my culture growing up in the u.s i've seen that everywhere where we recycle different songs we recycle different designs we take and we borrow and we use this to make our own things however this becomes a problem whenever a group like this like an indigenous group they end up having so much hard work put into making something like this handmade sourced from local things or maybe they've only had so much budgeting that was put in to make this doll so they can sell it to tourists and make a living off of it we have to be careful that people aren't going to go to mexico and just take this symbol and reproduce it and market this symbol because we have to consider what went into creating this maybe it was because a family had no other choice and a family struggles with a certain concern like economic concern poverty or a family might be facing problems with alcoholism they may be facing problems with no access to education so i know that there is a big problem in mexico when it comes to access for certain i would say resources that we don't have in the u.s so we have to consider all of this and be able to be practically smart conscious resourceful but in for them to be sustainable and for them to have so much meaning into practice like i keep repeating we have to be conscious and do things smart so that also goes into what i did and explains like why i left this black and white I leave it black and white because I do feel deep inside that if I were to just create something that I don't have the right to create, it should be in black and white, if that makes sense. Also, it's black and white because I'm not of that culture, but I am Mexican, so there's a little bit of a faint line. like there's i would describe it artistically there's no color in this connection that i have to the muñeca besides playing with them and having them in my house or being exposed to them but that doesn't mean that i should just go straight into making something that was already made and their origin had a lot of value from the their culture so by being smart about it it's also aesthetically pleasing which i'm very happy with and it gives me joy to talk about it and share with others not to make this video too long though um let me know if things make sense i'm very passionate about what i do and what i'm able to share with people if you guys have more questions, I'm very reachable. You can leave comments, go on my social media to comment. You can message me on Instagram. And if you are going to be around Florida, you are more than welcome to come and see me during the event when these this piece and other pieces are going to be up. We can talk about more of some symbols that you grew up, grew up with around your house or maybe played with and let's deep dive about considering our connection with how we grew up versus what we have to what we have access to now but yeah that's that's really all i'm so excited i'll be able to upload more content as far as loan well, things that I'm making, new art that I'm creating, ideas, concepts, and 
once again just thank you for watching and this is how i make my content it's just very straightforward and genuine i don't want to do like i don't want to sit down and edit my videos to be honest i know it would be great for me but that's going to be some work that i'm going to put in for my future and first i have to make more art create more content and then get out there but I'm just happy I have a purpose to be able to create things like this and share them with people like you. Bye.